are the Dangan Ropa B3 audition tapes fake? That's what we're going to be talking about today as I give you my personal take on the matter. I'm your host, Omega Bowen, here with another video. For those that don't know what these tapes are, well, around the last chapter when Tsumugi reveals to be the mastermind and that the characters are fictional, we get to see what she say are the tapes of their audition to join the killing game, pretty much telling us that the characters wanted to join the killing game, that the characters wanted to kill or even get executed. But are these tapes real? Some people say they are, some they say they are fake. I personally was in the camp that said they were real to be honest because, well, I think they are great and really mess up with the current form of the characters, you know? I like the idea of what the tapes are trying to tell you, the fact that you wanted this horrible game or that the world is so messed up. But when you start to really look into them, you start to notice that things are just not adding up. Things feel off in the tapes, especially when you begin to think about how the prologue went down when we started playing the game. This is things I never really got to think about especially since I was dealing with Hurricane Maria, but in the past few days I've been talking to a friend that is really getting into trying to figure out what really is happening in the game. He was talking with me about the tapes and other things that don't make much sense. But what in the tapes does not make sense, you ask? Well, it's actually something quite simple. For some odd reason, they censor the names of the characters in them. Number 154. My name is... I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can to be part of the show. And I mean that. Anything, I do anything to be part of Duncan Rampa. I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders, I promise. Everyone will love it. And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. I'm also thinking about the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. But why? Well, the in-game reason is that those are their crew names and that the current ones are fake and part of the flashback light. And that's an A-OK -okay explanation. I mean, it would be if it were not for the fact that we seen the character before the flashback light were used in the prologue. Before the light that supposedly gave them their new selves, they call themselves the main game names. This is me. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this. Saihara can himself Saihara and saying goes for Kaede. So wait, what the hell is happening here? Why censor the names in the first place? Well, the only conclusion is that the tapes are fake. End of story. But wait. It can't be as simple as that. It opens up more questions. How can you even fake something like this? I mean, I have no reason to think those people are not really the characters. I guess you could say that Tsumugi is playing them, but what about Cosmos? Something we know is an actual thing. Well, I can see three scenarios playing here, and I will give them to you. I'll let you, the viewer, decide which one is the possible one. A scenario one. Tsumugi did it. Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Simple one, Tsumugi is the one playing them. She cosplayed as the casters and decided to make the videos from when she eventually needed to do a review. My issue with this one is that, well, I'm sure she will use another name for the characters and cosplays. I will tell you this, I don't see any reason for Cosmo to be a fake team, as I told you in the talent video. I think it's real and we have purpose. So this scenario is pretty much impossible and too much trouble. A scenario 2, the flashback light was used to make them. Well, this is one that I have also seen people talk about. It pretty much means that the flashback lights were used to have them make those videos for their use. Oh, but you must be asking, why don't they remember it? Well, 
the blackout light. If you remember, it can make people forget things. It was only used one time in the main game as part of a fake memory. But I do think the actual device is a real thing that was used in some manner by Team Dan and Ropa. This scenario seems fine, but there is too much what if in this one. And the name being sensor stick kinda mess it up. Not only that, but if you start thinking that the flashback lights were used before the prologue, then the prologue itself could be fake. Here's what I'm trying to say. The moment you use the flashback light to make the argument against the legitimacy of the tapes, then the prologue that everyone seems to agree is real can no longer be trusted, because how do we know if not also part of the whole strip? How do we know Tsumugi did not make the whole thing to mess up with the viewers? Flashback lights can really mess things up. To be able to figure things out, we need to have a clear look at the timeline of events. Scenario 3. The tapes are real. I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. Okay, I know I said the prologue confirms them to be fake, but hear me out here. They are fake in the context they were used in the game. Tsumugi uses them to imply that the characters were happy about joining a game about killing people. But that to me is what is fake here. The context she gives is wrong. What I'm proposing is that the tapes are the real deal for an audition that happens to join Danganronpa. But wait a minute, Bowen. This is pretty much what Tsumugi said they were. Well, actually no, as I told you, context is key here. The so-called organization Tsumugi works for click the character. I think they're parts of the audition that we have not seen. I think they're legit think they were joining a killing game but that nobody was going to die for real. The video we see may be the character acting on some character they wanted to be. Let's be honest, most of the time we want to play a bad guy. In this new contest, I believe the tapes are real, no need for flashback lights or blackout lights. It will also explain the name team being censored as the Sumugian company lie and use their real names for the characters. Scenario 3 is the one I think it makes more sense, and it's better than the tapes just being fakes, as that would cause too much trouble. The Sumugian company are twisting things for her narrative in the last chapter. But still, the more you get into this game, the more things make no sense. We really need more information, things simply just don't make sense, we are missing stuff, and I hope we get new content soon. I mean, after I was done with the video, I'm starting to think both versions of the prologue are fake, because if you really start thinking about the way Gaia introduces herself, it's odd, and feels like she's narrating from that point, like something for the people that are watching. So I have no idea what to even believe anymore. But that's just me. How about you guys? What do you think? Are the tapes fake or are they real? Tell me in the comments below. This is Omega Bowen. See you guys another time. Bye.